in a second-hand set of dimensions. In an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Somewhere in darkest Ankh-Morpork, a sinister plot is about to unfold. Dragon good, dragon good, dragon good, dragon good, dragon good, dragon good, I'll see you again next week for my usual special. Hey, <laughs> what's where you going? See you soon. Get off! Leave me alone! Damnation if you don't clear out so help me I- I- Oh! Just bugger off! <coughs> That's better. It's on nights like this I could just murder a good curry. Hands up. Who's there? Hands. Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. I say, put your hands up. And you, put your hands up. What did you say? It's traditional. A well-established ritual of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being the victim, and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now please, Put your hands up. Hold on to you, what's the names? <laughs> I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I also know what this town is coming to. A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. <laughs> now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you just... <laughs> oh, bugger. Unseen University, the home of the greatest wizards on the Discworld, and one or two of the worst. Now, listen carefully. With all these rumors of a dragon... But sir, dragons don't exist. At least, not unless people believe in them. Quite, quite. Nevertheless, with all these rumors of a dragon on the rampage, the wizards of Unseen University must fulfill their civic responsibility. We must seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? Who? Leave the how up to me. As for the who, well, I know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me?
The Arch Chancellor wants to see you. <laughs> That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yes, a mysterious shape, a sinister shape, a shape fraught with, with shapeness. It must be a plot element, otherwise there'd be a better label. Aha! Portalis Exitus, or the common doorway. See, I'm not a wizard for nothing, you know. Good day, sirs. Is it? <laughs> so you say. What with the bottom falling out of the tapioca market? He's off again. Pass the dried frog pills. Laugh away, you old boy valve. It's all this dragon business. That's what's doing it. Snatching tapioca out of the mouths of the deserving elderly. Dragons? Dragons in the town? A likely story. <laughs> Swamp dragons, he means! No, a real dragon. Not one of those little marsh tiddlers. Poppycock, there's no such thing. Dragons only exist if you believe in them. I don't believe in them, they don't believe in me. So we're both happy. Another busy day in the faculty, gentlemen? We are cogitating. I hope I heard that right, said in a knowing tone of voice, Nudge Nudge. Cogitating, my lad, is that process by which the wise make space inside their minds for more ideas. You make more space for ideas by sitting on your backside sipping a cup of milky tea. Hit him. Hit him. My boy, ideas are normally sold by volume, not by weight. It's best to let them settle so you can find more room in the top. We have wisdom and you do not. For instance, this is the action of a clever man. What's so clever about writing down the word monkey? <coughs> Wisdom, my lad, is never cheap. Well, I didn't know you were selling it by the pound. <coughs> Excuse me, where might I go to find the patrician? Well... Don't be an idiot, boy! Just look for the palace! Is he approachable? Can you actually speak to him? 
Oh, yes. But he's a mean man with a word. Be careful if he uses sarcasm on you. And for heaven's sake, run for it if he resorts to... Ooh, irony. Does this place always have to be this way? What way? Well, this way. It's chaos. It's... It's undisciplined. It's as if I'm thrashing about in a sea of questions, like... Like I'm screaming out against soul-destroying winds. Isn't that a mixed metaphor? I mean, there are times when I dream about just shaking this place by the neck until it starts talking sense. I have one like that too. What, really? Oh, yes. In one magic moment, I stride like an intellectual giant across the rooftops of the world, slicing through the Gordian what's his name of fuzzy thinking for all time. And then I have this other terrific dream that I'm being smothered in fruity yogurt and sucked up inside a whale. Thankfully, that's not my problem. So far, anyway, we can but hope. Right, you are then. Ah, a swamp dragon, if my eyes don't deceive me. I thought these things were filled with explosive gas. <laughs> oh, right. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. That doesn't work. Hey! A girl! What's a girl doing in here? I'm not a girl! Why are you... Why are you wearing a dress? It's a wizard's robe, not a dress. I knew a girl's dress once. Splendid lass. Very good at pickling. Very good at pickling eels, she was. Well, I once knew a girl too, of course. Of course? Oh, why are you of course? Young fellow like you, you ought to be out and about, exploring a world of adventure. Wine, women and pickles. Look, I am out and about. Well, you can't be too good at it if you're already off course, young air freshener. Look, no one's off course. I just use the phrase as a pleasantry, a manner of address. Pickling? Oh, how fascinating. Pickled? Who's pickled? No one's pickled. You started it. I don't even like pickles. What? Oh, they were wonderful pickles. How dare you cast me, 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 me aspersions on, 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 Damn, I've, I've lost it. What were we talking about again? Um, pickles? What's pickled? What? Hmm? Well, what do you mean? Well, the eels were pickled, weren't they? What? Pickled elves? Damn, there he is. I told them to lock that liquor cupboard. Go on, boy, get after them. No, no, pickles, not pickled. Pickles? Well, try the kitchen. Get out. Stop wasting my time. So, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. That's just the point. Now young twerps like you think they can come in here, ravish our women and, and, and steal all our pickles. Steal? Now do I look like a thief? My stick. They all want my magic stick. So be off with you, you, you dastardly overcleaner. No, no, look. I don't want your wretched stick. So, 
So it's the pickles you're after then, is it? You devilish young trouser. Well, I'm on to you, you know. I'm on to you, you young bookcase. Now look, this is not the problem that I wanted to address. Look, I just want to find somebody who can talk a little sense. Sense? Perfumes? Oh, I'll not have it. No, sir, I won't. Dallying with women folk on the premises is against the rules. Otherwise, we'd, we'd, we'd all be doing it. You young bathrobe, I have you defrocked for this. Look, I haven't done a thing, honestly. What? Well, well uh, how can you be a man of the world if you never sample the finer things in life? Hmm? Women, wizard staves, pickles. Well, if I go and do that, you said you'd defrock me. It won't do, it just won't do. Young tweezers like you coming in here and, and taking off their frocks. I, I won't stand for it. I, 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 this city is getting into, into a fine old pickle. Oh, please don't get started on the pickles again. Pickles? Well, don't eat pickles if you're wearing a dress. You'll stain the hem. Why are you wearing a dress? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Excuse me, but could I ask you some clear off and no magic in the kitchen? One more spell goes off in this place, and I'm going to complain to the Arch Chancellor. Are you always this surly? Not always. I even know a jolly joke. Really? Yes. What's ugly, hollow, and rings like a bell? I don't know. What? Look over there. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Well, that's a fine skill to have. Your parents must be very proud of you. Actually, I was going to become a wizard. But they found out my parents were married. Fascinating. Don't any of your pancakes get lost? What? From here? From my frying pan? You don't seem to realise the gravity of your accusation. Twenty-seven years I've been studying to be a cook's apprentice. I've got top marks for basic flipping left hand and right, and batter stirring, pan greasing and pancake stacking. Oh, how many did you get for customer relations? Two percent. Clear off. This is the worst kitchen I've ever seen. It would be worse if there were worst. What's worst? It's a what's name? Uh, a sausage. Worst sausage? No, if you want the worst sausage, try Dibblers. Oh dear. So it's to be pans, is it? Just watch the pancakes for a while, it's very soothing. Well, I'll catch you later then. Oh, well, this one's not a statue. 
I think this one used to be a frog out in the garden. Ah, oh, well, he never should have asked to be turned into a handsome plinth. Let's see. Smooth, irregular, smells of paraffin. I wonder what it could be. Ha! Ah, ha ha! Yes, now, don't rush me. Ow! Yes, thought so. They're shelves. Mm. Hello? Ooh. What's he get? You're not in charge here, are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I see. Well, that explains the filing system. Look, I don't know if you're quite the person that I want to see. Ooh. Yeah, well, it, it's hard to explain, really. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm hmm yeah. Um, ook, eek, ooh, ooh, ook. Yee! Well, this is wonderful. I never knew I could speak monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hi, do you mind if I monkey about in the library for a while? Did you get the number of that donkey cot? May I take a book from the library, please? Woo! Woo! Excuse me? Ooh, 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 wee! I see. Um, I need something in order to take out a book. Ooh, ooh. Toothpaste? Fingers? Gloves? Something in your hand? Ooh. A dentist? Halitosis? You want you want some mouthwash? That's it. You want some mouthwash? I'm sorry, but I'm already spoken for. Ah! Oh, a library card! <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? What happens if I just barge in without giving you a library card? Yes. Now look, unfortunately, I don't have one, ape. Ooh. Uh, ape on... Upon my person. Yes, upon my person. Phew. I didn't say monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hey! Whose monkey is this? <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Oh dear, there's little pamphlets living in it. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? 
That's just its advantage, friend. Think of it, a seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. Gosh, yes. Let me take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime offer. What, really? Nah, only kidding. I just want it to be as pleasant as possible as a sort of aid to conversation. Oh, but that's cruel. It's building up my hopes only to dash me down. You know, being a confidence trickster is a hard job. Well, perhaps you need a holiday. <laughs> right, but where to? Where to? Not a lot of peace at resorts these days. I hear the Framenwanger Peninsula is fairly quiet. Why don't your lips sync with your words? L space. The library is a nexus of L space. Within these shelves, all possible pasts and futures can be found. Frankly, it's making me feel a bit ill. What's that under your coat? Hourglasses. Care to buy an hourglass? Where did you get all of those? Fell off the back of a donkey cart, sir. You are an extremely silly man. Hey, I'm not the one wearing a dress. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Yes, well, art criticism was never a strong point of the University Trust. Ah, if it isn't young Breakwind. Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quite. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk. And you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this dragon that supposedly is terrorizing the town. Uh, uh, dragon? As in the uh, classic fire-breathing, city-toasting... Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny objects, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the Unseen University is properly represented in the attempt to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. 
Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe in them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's concise compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. You still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! Ex ooh, 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 ooh. I see. Ooh, 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 wee! Yes. Ye uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> mm hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? Whoop! Well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? No, I'll come back and get a book later. Whoop! Whoop, whoop! Yes, I've given up. No, no not given, monkey. Hey, oh, damn! <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hey there, old mollusk. What can you tell me about L space? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, I see. Hmm. So what you're saying is that L space is a means of time travel available only to librarians, which is essentially too complex a subject to convey with hand gestures and grunts. <laughs> yes, I thought so. But look, if I did have to go into L space, say, to go back to another time, you could help me? Hmm. L-space is the distortion of space caused by big collections of books. Just picture some of those old second-hand bookshops, which look like they were designed by Isha on a bad day. They invariably have more staircases than stories, and rows of shelves that end in little doors, which are surely too small for humans to enter. This distortion of space has a similar inevitable effect on time. That doesn't work. Hmm. Sex magic. The book of the 32 unspeakable acts, with a compendium containing several speakable ones. And six more that everyone involved would rather forget about. No wonder it's on ice. Thank 
That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Gold a banana? Psst. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friend. Think of it, a seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. What's that banana doing in your ear? Now that's my special ticket into the library. It can get you into the shelves, it can get you any special service from the librarian you want. There's only one of these in existence. Yeah, but why is it in your ear? The mystic nature of the universe is not to be discussed idly. Let us say that with our thoughts we make the world, and that reality is only as we perceive it to be. Like dragons? Uh-huh, could be. So why is that banana in your ear? What banana? Look, I've had enough of this. How much do you want for it? For what? For the banana! It's not for sale. Not for all the gold in the kingdom, buddy. Not for all the gold in the kingdom. What, really? No, not really. I mean, bring me all the gold in the kingdom and the banana's yours. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers! That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Actually, it's been a while since I had a bath. Good grief! I thought the apprentices were all kept tied to stakes. How do you open the gate? I use the secret spell. All right then. How do I open a gate? Can't tell you. You're supposed to go and see the Arch Chancellor. I'll go on. Just open the gate. Oh, it's more than my job's worth, mate. That doesn't work.
Excuse me, my dear sir, could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Layers? I see. Yes. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Mm-hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? Well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? No, I'll come back and get a book later. Whoop! 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 Yes, I've given up. No, no not given, monkey. Hey! Oh, damn! <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Excuse me, my dear sir, could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Layers? <laughs> Excellent. Good lad, Breakwind. Rinse, Windsor. Ah, we now have the formula to construct Reculamento's never-failing Dragon's Lair Revealer. With the device in our hands, we'll be able to track the creature and trap it like a wildebeest. You mean like a rat, sir? Really? Well, could be. That'd be easier, certainly. You've got a good, firm grasp of facts. I like that in a wizard. Go forth and fetch the elements we need to construct this device. I'll see that your performance is brought to the attention of the University Board when we review your grant next year. Uh, we may only halve it, for example. <laughs> Sir, have I ever told you of my ambition to be a yak? It can be arranged, Rincewind. Just ask the librarian. Now get a move on! We need a staff of tumultuous turbatogy. A spiral of never-failing induction. A miniature creature of excitable chitters. And a container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Oh, is that all? Well, uh, a sample of breath from the subject in question is necessary. Dragon's breath? Yes. Any problems with that? No? Good. Well, don't just stand there. Off you go!
That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hey there, old mollusk. What can you tell me about L space? Hmm. Yeah. 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 I'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. I see. Hmm. So what you're saying is that L space is a means of time travel available only to librarians, which is essentially too complex a subject to convey with hand gestures and grunts. <laughs> yes, I thought so. But look, if I did have to go into L space, say, to go back to another time, you could help me. Hmm. L space. Just picture the invi- this. How do you open the gate? They've changed the wasp names. The hand wriggles. It's a whole new spell. So show me the new spell. Can't. The spell's a secret. Nice weather. Since classes in wind whistling, rain making and lightning throwing are all scheduled for today, I think that's being a wee bit premature. So, this is it. You just... You just stand here all day getting a wage for eating prunes? Certainly. Someone's got to do it. It's a plum job. The hand wriggles, please. Yeah, yeah, right. Look, you just wiggle them like this. Like this. Yes, almost. Now try it like that. Like this. Right you are, son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like a nice lie down. But what about the gate? Aren't you going to guard it? Oh, who gives them monkeys? Did you get the number of that donkey cart? What's that you're eating then? Prunes. Just a little nourishment to tide me through till lunchtime. Can 
Can I have one before I go? Having one before you go is the whole point of prunes. And no, you can't. Well, I'll catch you later then. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Bisected by the river Ankh, the city of Ankh Morpork is the oldest existing city on the Discworld. It is really two cities Proud Ankh, turnwise of the river, and Pestilent Morpork on the Widdishin side. Although the pestilence is quite democratic and in fact covers most of the city. It is said that all roads lead to Ankh Morpork, but this is in fact incorrect. The truth is that all roads lead away from Ankh Morpork. Counterwise wine tasting at Bear Huggers Wineries. Please bring bucket to winery the day before you arrive. Lost. Small dog. Answers to the name of Gaspode. Talks too much. If found, keep. Wanted for arson. Suspect approximately three tons, 200 feet long, scaly. Wanted dead. Definitely dead. Reasonable reward. Is he one? One what? Um, uh, one of them, you know. What? With a whip? Uh, yes, yes. He's one of them. Probably he's wearing a hat. Well, I, I'm not standing for it. Young man, are you one of them? Look, I'm... Um, I'm not exactly sure what you... Yes or no? Oh, all right. Yes, then. Oh, funny. <laughs> he doesn't walk like one. It's hard to tell in that dress. Ah, I think I can see how this is going. Um, it's a case of humorous misunderstanding, yes? Sorry? What's that? I'm not going to fall for it. I shouldn't think so, in that dress. You see, you're just taking perfectly ordinary remarks and trying to make some kind of joke out of them. Oh, come on. There's not much to laugh at in our job. I can see that. We need a bit of fun. This might not be much, but it's better than being up to your knees in blood. What are your jobs? Oh, we're heroes, mate. You? That make me laugh. 
You just said we didn't. I mean, you? Killing dragons? Oh, we've killed dozens of them in our day. And if you think you're a hero too, you'll want to find the dragon. So, off you go. No point wasting any time. You didn't see me wasting any time when I took out the dreaded Temple of Ofla. <gasps> One of them? Well, it depends who's asking. Who? Why, it's us, the rootinest, tootinest, shootinest. Hats and whips. Uh, and gold. Inside temples. What? Missionaries? No, the other ones. Nasty natives with spiders and snakes. <sighs> Yuck! So you mark my words. <sighs> Look, I think you should probably all just start again. You listen up, young fellow. We are all legendary heroes here, so keep your ears open and you might learn a thing or two. Incidentally, on a point of detail, we only root and shoot. We never toot. Well, hardly ever. Aye? It's all depending on his destiny. I'm the kind of man that went out and made his own destiny. What out of? Wood? Come again? Well, you, you carve a destiny, don't you? Could be made of ivory. Uh, can't get the elephants these days. How's about iron? Then you could forge a mighty destiny. Too heavy. It has to be wood. What? There we are, young man. Your destiny should be made of wood. Don't go to the desert, though. It'll get termites, and then you'll have a holy destiny. Had to struggle a bit for that one, sorry. Most certainly not. I've never been one of them. He doesn't look like one of them. He's wearing a dress! It's the best way to tell! Ah, well, if you'll just excuse me, I think I hear Destiny calling. Dashing Dan, the Effluent King. I thought all kings were affluent. A nice strong rubber belt, that. doesn't work. 